So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in File Explorer Options. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna click on the View tab. And then you're gonna select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. You're gonna make sure this has been selected. So Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. And then click on OK. And now for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And now once you're on this on the left hand side, you're gonna scroll down and then click on this PC. And now once you're on this, you want to open up any drive that you think contains a zip file that you're having an issue with. If you see anything that says .zip in it, you just want to delete it. So check all your drives and if you see .zip in any one of them, you just want to delete this. You could also try to format or remove the external drive as well. So if you find your drive, you want to right click on it and then click on format. Just so you know that all the data in the drive is going to be removed. So make sure that you have your important files backed up and then click on start. And then click on OK, which will then format the drive. Another thing you could also try, so you're gonna head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna expand universal serial bus controllers. And then you wanna find anything that says host controller on it. You may have multiple host controllers, you wanna do this for all of them. So you're gonna right click on it, and then click on update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. If that's still not working, then you wanna uninstall all the host controllers. So you're gonna right click on host controller, click on uninstall, and then click on uninstall again. Then you just want to restart your computer and then it's going to reinstall the host controllers and then that should fix your problem. One last thing you could also try is you want to head over to search and type in CMD then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Then you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan's also been completed you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.